So you just bought a free plus zero, binding on the hype of all the crazy things you can do with it. You played with it a bit, and now you have no idea what to do with it next. Well, in this video, I will show some of my favorite add-ons and upgrades to Flipper, including the software and the hardware. So, let's get started. So the first thing I would do if I would now get a new Flipper Zero would be to replace the firmware. And those three common firmwares that you can install. The first one is called Unleashed. And that's the one I would install today. Unleashed is focused on users who want more features and fewer restrictions and kind of do not care about the limitations. It removes original restrictions, it offers extended uh, frequencies for the sub gigahertz radio frequencies, it can even save some early encodes and uh, um, send early encodes as well, very limited but still it can. It has much better uh, Bluetooth low energy support, bad USB, which I'll explain later what that means and a bunch of other things. It's very stable but it does have some more experimental features as well, so keep that in mind. And if uh, installing custom firmware sounds scary to you, it's actually not scary at all. All you need to do is you click the install button on the Unleashed Firmware website and uh, download the latest firmware. You can choose here between the C, E or regular version. C means compact, so it's a smaller version with less apps and E is a full version with more apps. Click that, download, then you go to the uh, web updater, just connect, connects to the flipper. Now we just do install from file, choose the file we just downloaded. And then just upload it. Once the web installer will finish uploading the installation to the flipper, the flipper will restart and just install uh, the firmware. If you ever want to go back to the official one, the process is basically the same. You open the web installer and choose one of the built-in firmwares and click install. The whole process takes about two minutes. Now when you open the apps menu, you'll have substantially more apps than before. Next is Momentum firmware. And Momentum is relatively new uh, on the scene, essentially replacing an older one called Extreme firmware. And it's focused a lot on customization. It comes with a lot of uh, asset packs with different designs, with different customization for the flipper, but also it tries to focus on the feature set. It's not as open in terms of frequencies and tools as unleashed. And it also has less apps pre-built or pre-included inside the bundle. But then again, it's very easy to install additional apps to the flipper because all you need to do is to go to apps and press install when the flipper is connected or to do the same from your cell phone, which is really easy as well. And uh, um, last but not least is the Rogue Master firmware which is focused more on cutting edge uh, features and tools. In many cases, it can be unstable, but um, it tries to incorporate all the features it, it can find and it's very actively updated. So if you're interested to be kind of like a beta tester and you want a wide variety of features that not all of them will actually work and you'll have to update very frequently, maybe Rogue Master is for you but I personally use Unleashed and that's my favorite one as well. And if you're a beginner, that's what I would recommend you uh, start with as well. Now, once you set up the software, basically like change the firmware, the next thing is you want to fill in your flipper with a little bit of things to actually do with it, right? And that's where um, some of the collections come in. One collection that I always have on my Flipper is the Flipper IRDB collection, which is essentially a collection of all the different uh, infrared remotes for different devices. TVs, like uh, vacuum cleaners, toys, touchscreens, whatever. And you can just 
download the whole collection and copy it to the SD card of the flipper. And suddenly you have all of those remote controls for all those devices in case you need them. I cannot count how many times I've been in like a new hotel or in somebody's house and they lost the remote. And now by chance, I actually have it in the collection and I can use it. And it's a lot more precise than the universal remote feature of the Flipper Zero. The next collection is from Uber Guido, Uber Guido Z, who did a large collection of different uh, files and tools for the Flipper Zero that you can just download and copy to the SD card, including a collection of sub uh, RF signals. One of the final ones is the Tesla opening the charging port and then a collection of bad USBs. What is a bad USB? It's basically a script that when the flipper connects to a computer, it acts like a keyboard and then um, runs a set of commands that can um, either take control or do some automation or things like that on a computer very, very quickly. And the next collection would be the awesome Flipper Zero, which is a huge collection of tutorials, applications, plugins, and files for the Flipper Zero that you can uh, learn to use, apply immediately. Right, so far we talked about using the Flipper Zero itself and upgrading the Flipper with software. How about hardware? This is one of my favorite uh, Flipper Zero add-ons. It's called the Death Star by Rabbit Labs, and it's essentially a multiplier for your IR blaster inside the Flipper. It connects to the GPIO port, this kind of plugs in, and it um, adds seven additional IR LEDs to the Flipper, substantially increasing the range of the infrared uh, transmission you can do with the Flipper. You just go and start the IR app and it automatically detects it and start using that instead of the built-in infrared in the flipper. And it quadruples the distance that the infrared signal can uh, um, reach, making it a lot louder. Essentially, if I turn it here, I can turn on and off the TV in my neighbor's uh, house which is across the road. It doesn't work as a receiver, so you still need to use the built-in infrared to read the infrared remotes and kind of record the signals. So now that you have the IRDB database, you can send those signals anywhere very, very easily and with a lot of power. Next, this is the Eurodesign booster for the flipper. It's a controller, a CC1101 with a very powerful antenna that plugs into the GPIO port of the Flipper Zero and substantially increases, basically four times, increases the distance of radio signals received and sent by the Flipper. So now, if you download this uh, Tesla uh, port opener and you transmit it, you can transmit it to the whole street at the same time and have all the Teslas open the charging ports at the same time. I don't know why you would do that, but you can. Keep in mind that it's limited by the same frequencies that the firmware on the flipper is limited. So if you use Unleash, you basically have no limitations. And if you use a different firmware, like the official one, it will be limited like the official one uh, as well. And it's pretty cool that uh, the flipper detects it and automatically starts using it instead of the built-in sub gigahertz uh, radio inside the flipper. Even though the flipper is a pretty amazing device for its size and has a lot of sensors and a lot of capabilities out of the box it has no wi-fi capability at all and that's where the wi-fi development boards comes the wi-fi development boards plugs into the gpio ports the same way that all the others do uh, but it essentially is another controller that works in addition to the flipper cpu it's an ESP32 that comes with Wi-Fi and uh, Bluetooth support. Out of the box, it's not very useful because basically the only user, usage you get out of the box is being able to remotely debug the flipper, doing the same thing you would do with a USB cable, just over Wi-Fi. Not very fun. But very easily you can flash that uh, add-on with a custom firmware called Maradul 
and that one can do a lot of interesting things including pushing um, 2.4 gigahertz devices on the wi-fi network to disconnect by confusing them with the authentication protocol scanning wi-fi devices around or doing things like evil portal which is like a wi-fi access point that serves a specific page when connected and, uh, and can basically causes the computers of whoever connects to that wi-fi point to load the page with your code automatically uh, in order to enable that all you need to do is essentially the same way as upgrading the firmware for the flip itself you hold the reset and boot buttons connect it over usb go to the fzee flasher when you connect, you see the ESP32 model over here, connect, and it connected successfully. Now you just choose the Flipper dev board, latest version, module, program, and a few seconds later, you'll have the module firmware flashed to the ESP32 on the Wi-Fi board. A few seconds later, you have module on the Wi-Fi development board, and now you can control it from the Flipper Zero anywhere, and you have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth capabilities uh, for the Flipper. And last but not least is the Flipper game model. The game model has a very misleading name because it's actually not really a game model. It's a separate RP2040 controller with motion tracking and with HDMI out. So it can add motion tracking and HDMI capabilities to the Flipper. By the way, if you have a case on the flipper, you need to remove the orange part. And if you don't, you keep it. So take that off and plug it in. And the flipper detects it and it's enabled. Now you can basically stream to an external screen everything that the flipper screen is showing. But that's not limited by that because it has its own controller and it has its own sensors now it can turn the flipper into a wireless mouse. Now the game model can also uh, send color to the external screen. Uh, you can build custom code for it that does a lot of things with the additional controllers and additional connectors you have here. So it's called the game model, but actually it's just like a booster pack for the flipper on top of it. I hope that that was useful um, with all those add-ons the flipper can be a lot more powerful and a lot more useful, whatever you try to do with it, either like day-to-day -day things or penetration testing or, you know, some development and engineering. Everything I talked about here today is linked in the description below, including additional channels and additional resources where you can learn more about how to use the flipper zero. If so, feel free to check the description, click the links out, um and i hope that was helpful if it was helpful nudge the algorithm by clicking the like button if, if you want to see more content like this be sure to subscribe and i will see you in the next video see ya